Hi folks and welcome to today's video which is a double unboxing video. Today I've got something completely different. I've recently discovered the world of Samiko Gurashi and I'll tell you all about that as we go through this video. So I've got two things to unbox today. One is a blanket featuring Sumiko Gurashi characters and I'm thinking of actually using that as a backdrop and the other one is a virtual pet. So I'm going to get this blanket out of the bag and see what it's like and try it out as a backdrop and then Paul will be joining me for the unboxing and demonstration and review of this virtual pet. So, let's see what this blanket's like. It's featuring the Sumiko Gurashi Pen Pen Fruits Vacation. And here are all the Sumiko Gurashi characters. So it's kind of silky on the top. And then it's got a kind of toweling backing to it. So, I'll see how this functions as a backdrop. And I think that makes a pretty nice backdrop. What do you think, folks? So, I'll just give you a few words to give you a bit of background. As some of you may, may know, I intend to get the Puni Runes that's coming out this month that was originally a Japanese virtual pet and has been distributed outside of Japan by Spin Master this year. Right, and so... Spin Master have decided to do that because that was really popular in Japan and they think it's going to be popular around the rest of the world. Yeah. And so I started having a look at videos on YouTube of the Japanese version of the Puni Runes because I wanted to see what it was like mm -hmm. and how you used it, etc. Yeah. And through looking at those videos, I discovered Sumiku Gurashi. Which is another Japanese virtual pet. Yes. But this one has got a very rich background to it because the characters were originally... They were stationary logos, weren't they? Station, stationary company and designed them as logos. Yes, they were originally designed by a stationary company, San X, and have been immensely popular. I know I've seen a lot of merchandise, like I've seen a lot of plushies and blankets and things like that that have been distributed. So, yeah, it's funny how they caught on, isn't it? around the world, the characters. So the reason why I liked Puni Runes was because it had an interesting slant on the mm. virtual pet in that you could actually prod. Yeah, stick your finger inside and touch it. it. it actually feel what was yeah. supposed to be the little jelly creature inside. And you stick your finger into the virtual world. Yes, virtual. and you see you see a representation of your finger. On the screen, so mm. it's like virtual mm. meets, meets real. And in a similar way, with this game, you have three little spoons and you can go into the virtual world with a real thing, the spoon, to right. interact with the pets. Okay, so it's not just buttons then, like most virtual pets are. No, and this is what interests me. Yeah, Because one of the things that I've always been wary of is repetitive strain. Yeah, and virtual pets started off as just really being just buttons. Just buttons, yeah. not lots of quick sort of button mm. presses, and that always concerned me about repetitive strain. But this is really nice because it's sort of getting away from that. Mm. It's also got this interesting feature, isn't it, where it's like where the, the real meets the virtual, the yes. two join, whether it yeah. be a finger yeah, going like into a virtual well. world or a spoon going into a virtual world. Yeah, I like that as well. I mean, with a spoon, you almost feel like you can pull one of the characters out into the real world. <laughs> yeah. So I've got this from Amazon Japan, but it is available on Amazon.com. And I'll put a link in the description if anyone's interested in this. I think it's uh, about $28. And if, after watching this video, you decide to purchase this, I would be much obliged if you use that link as it helps the channel. So, this is from Japan. It's a Japanese product. It's all in Japanese. Mm -hmm. But there's a wonderful YouTuber who has translated 
instructions into English and made them available oh, as that's, PDFs. That's fab because you really need that with all the writing on the game itself being in Japanese. If you can't speak and read Japanese. So that's fantastic because mm. that makes it more accessible, obviously. Yeah, of course. And I'll put a link to her website with all the Japanese manuals that she's got translated into English. So I see from that manual you're holding up there, she's like, it's not just like she's she's written instructions out in English. She's sort of got the pictures Everything. and put the English text mm, on. So she's fantastic. done a really bit of good editing using, I don't know yeah. what, sort of, sort of package. To, so she, it's like an instruction manual in English with all the pictures and that. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. So without further ado, let's finally get this out the box and see what it's like. Oh, it's not nicely presented. Mm. I love all the pastel colours. Yeah, really pretty, isn't it? Mm. So we've got our Japanese instructions here. I'll just have a very quick look at these because mm. I've been very curious yeah. to see what those look like because the videos I've seen, no one's actually shown what they look like. And of course, you've got the English ones there, haven't you? Yes. I was not expecting that. They open out onto just one sheet it's not like a booklet right and it's just sort of in blue ink whereas the instruction manual that the lady has produced if you look at it online it's all in color oh, as so well it's we, much better if we had a color printer we could have printed this same color then. yeah this, this one yeah yeah and this one's like obviously it's, it's all in japanese which is the biggest drawback but the pictures are very small on yeah. it as well, so she's, she's done A4 this is much that, better. Yeah. <laughs> so these are the three little spoons. With happy faces on the back. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's so cute. I see there's like a sort of slotted grating yes. on, the, on the, sort of the bottom of each spoon. Now I was going to ask you about this. Mm. Um, how you think this works because they all seem to have just five slots so i was wondering how it differentiates well i think the slots are there to for the uh, the electronics to work out if you're pushing the spoon up and down because people push the spoons up and down don't they when they go in to indicate that they're sort of washing the the character or feeding the character or patting it so That'll be like a beam interrupter. Which, so uh, do you think it's the shape of them at the end that's... That allows it to register which spoons... If yeah, to differentiate. Right or... Yes, I would say it's the shape. Right. And then, so, yeah, the shape on the end differentiates between the spoons and the gratings uh, tell the game electronics whether you're pushing it up or down or not. So the first thing we've got to do with this is put the batteries in. It reminds me of one of those, um, oh, it's back back in the 70s, maybe, uh, like wind-up baby musical boxes that you, you find <laughs> in a pot. It's a bit like a cloud, isn't it, the shape yeah. of it? And it's got a, a little Sumiko friend feature at the back, in the corner there, for the speaker. <laughs> the holes for the speaker, which is really nice. Okay, so let's get some batteries. So it takes two AAA batteries. Got the battery door back on, and I believe to switch it on, you press the yellow button in the middle. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so now we alter. You've got to set the date. The date, the yeah, set, set the date. I've got to say, the screen's uh, pretty clear. It is, isn't game. it? Um, yeah. Also, after handling it, those buttons are, are really quite, quite a good feel. They've got sort of a long throw and they're very positive. They're not too, uh, not too clicky. And it's the seventh. I think red is always yes and blue is no. Maybe. Right. Mm. Okay. So now it's asking you for the time. What is the time? 14.55. Zoom round if you hold it down. Right. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. I think you press 
Put it on the side. That's it. There's the little Smeeko Kurashi. Hey. Is it all set up for play now then? It is, yeah. So we're seeing a character here. Like he's shivering because he's cold. Yeah. This is a polar bear called Shirakuma. And all of these characters have got backstories. There's little animations of them on YouTube with English subtitles. So I'll I'll put a link to those very short animations because back, backstories are delightful. You just fall in love with these characters. So this little polar bear doesn't like the cold. It was very sad in the North Pole and was always wrapping himself up in blankets and drinking hot tea. I've got to say the screen's really good quality. And, uh, it is, whole, isn't it? The whole feel and look of the, uh, the game machine. So, try the other one. Oh, yeah, it's better. Okay, so he's thinking about pancakes, so he wants something to eat. So it's this pink spoon that's for feeding. So let's see if I can feed him. <laughs> what have you just given him? It looks like a... Uh, rice! Rice. It looks like a little... <laughs> Look, rice. he's holding a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, when he moved away from the, the North Pole, he brought um, that little sack creature with him oh yeah it, well, it actually is a blanket he wrapped mm -hmm. around himself but you can like you know fold it up into a little sack as well so, so his he, friend so when he moved away got from... a picture of it up on the wall look <laughs> when he moved away from the north pole he, he got a house over over here well, yes over here, what... somewhere in japan maybe <laughs> no, and, i don't think it was bear. over here <laughs> yes he fact came across a house and the house had a corner uh -huh. and it had these other Sumikos living in the corner. They were all, they were all quite. They all lack confidence. These creatures. Mm. So that's why they like to sit in the corner of the room. Right. So, so they're shy and retiring. Yeah. Usually, yeah. I've connected the spoons onto the device now. You can connect them with the cord here. So that's handy. So we've fed our polar bear. So next we'll pet. Shirakuma. And to do this, we use the blue spoon. It's got a hand symbol on the end. And then with the final yellow spoon, we can pick him up and take him places. So he's gone to the fun fair. So that was the polar bear, Shirakuma. But we've got another four rooms with four other characters. Are all these rooms in the same house? <laughs> I think they are, yeah. Do they know one another? You, I think you see, can see a map at, at one point. So they all know one another then? Oh, because they spend time together, don't they? Well, they, yeah, I mean, you sometimes you see them and they're, they're all on the sofa together. Yeah. Yeah, they live in the same house because they all live in the corner, don't they? That's right. And when you yeah. when we, when we you took the polar bear to the fun fair, you went with his mates, didn't it? It did, yes. Right, OK. Oh, isn't it sweet? It's asleep. Hmm. I think, you know, that's because it's five po past nine. All right. I think they go to sleep. That, that, that'll be why it asks you to uh, set the time, won't it? It's really cute, that. Mm. So this character is called Neko. He's here. That's the uh, plump cat that's always necking food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes his food. The backstory with this cat was that when he was a kitten, he stuffed his face that much that he got really plump. Mm -hmm. And he, his brothers and sisters were adopted, but nobody wanted him because he was fat. But of course, when he came came across the corner and mm -hmm. the other sumikus, mm -hmm. he was happy then. Right. Sometimes he gets embarrassed and he, he scratches the wall when he's embarrassed. Ah, I've seen him do that, yeah. Mm. So obviously we can do everything with Neko as we did with the polar bear. So you can feed him, you can stroke him, and you can take him places using the spoons. 
but this is just one part of the sort of gameplay mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in this because what you can also do is you can go to a game centre. All right. Let's go back. Ah, got it. I'm not quite sure how I got to the game (laughs) centre there, but I got to it. So at the moment, we can see that we're on the house and you can see they're all there. It looks like all, the these, all these places are on an island as well, doesn't it? Like, yeah. like a volcanic yeah, island. Yeah, I never maybe. noticed it's that. Tropic. When I've watched them on sort of YouTube, I never noticed it was Tropical an island. Tropical on the background. It's got palm trees in the background as well. So that's the house that yeah. we're all in, yeah. So using the purple button, mm-hmm. we can go to a catch area. And what you do there is you catch some ecos. And every time you catch a some eco, you get like a nice picture of a sumiko in sort of certain dress or whatever are there more and you than... can it, put them in a book in the library right so are there more than four sumikos then uh, uh five five more than i five. think it's the same five but like they just you know they might be picture of them by the seaside or picture of them with certain clothes right, on right, so it's just yeah. like different pictures of them so what's that building then i think this is settings yeah that's settings that's the supermarket. Mm-hmm. Looks like a supermarket, yeah. And this is the games emporium. Yes. So we'll choose that. And they're all greyed out. Well, not the one with Neko, which is good because that's the one I want to play. <laughs> right. Okay. This is so funny because Neko really likes his food. Mm-hmm. In this game, you go and get him to eat as much sushi as possible. <laughs> Be good at that, then, will he? <laughs> but it's great how they, they chose that as a game for him mm. because he loves mm. food. I like how they keep everything within the character, mm. you know. Mm. So it say it shows on the screen there oh, yeah. which one which you're supposed to, to use. use yeah. The pink one. Mm-hmm. That makes sense because that's for feeding. So where's this sushi then? Game starts. Oh, it's you? coming along now. Oh, missed. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Right, you're not supposed to eat those ones because they're hot and they, <laughs> it makes them lose time because he has to take a drink. And it gets quicker. <laughs> I see there's a countdown in the pink and top right corner, isn't there? <laughs> He's taking another drink. <laughs> Don't you think that's really mm-hmm. funny? Mm. So I've got 100 coins now. And what you do with your coins is you can spend them at the supermarket and ah, buy them things. Right. So all the uh, Sumikos have a different game, or do they have more than one game that you can, you can play with them? I think, yeah, there's six games all together. One, one for each. So that's Neko. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, there's one for each of the main characters, and then this one is, I think, the little tapioca things. <laughs> um, but the, these are the five main characters here. Tapioca? That, I think that's what you call them. Right, it looks like if you go on the pink council button, that gets you back to the map. Right. Oh, if we go to the supermarket... You can buy something with a point ship button now, can you? What's that? <laughs> uh, this that's um, this sort of character here, which is the. Oh, it's a prawn off course. It's, it? it's a bit of food. It's a bit of food. The prawn and the um, and the pork cutlet is. Yeah, it? the, the large left, one is a pork over. cutlet, and the small one is a, a bit of um, a prawn tail or something. I find this all very disturbing. The food one. The mm. food one, yeah. How, how come the prawn off cut? Or the, the tail end of the prawn was going to the supermarket. Do these characters just go around doing their own things and sometimes you encounter them? I think it's normally the little prawn that goes to the supermarket to do the shopping. Ah, what, for everybody must, in the house? Yeah, everybody in the house, yeah. Ah. So this first one here is for buying traps. Mm-hmm. But it, it's, it's not as bad as it sounds because one of the traps is a comfy cushion to lure them <laughs> to, to sit on it. And another one's like 
like a spa. <laughs> right. Okay. And then the second one is you can buy food for mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. And the third one is you can buy ingredients ah. to make them right. food. So you get to do a bit of cooking as well. Don't you? you can do, yes. But I think we'll just check on them in the houses and then I'll leave it till tomorrow because I think that, look, they're all asleep. I think it's that is too late for so, them, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Isn't that so cute? Is that, that's a polar look, he's, bear. He's put, he's, that sack, you can see he's got a face on it. That sack it's creature. Underneath, underneath the sheet with him, isn't it? No, no, it is the sheet. Oh, it's it his is blanket. The sheet, right. that's, it's his blanket. Right, that's why he keeps knotted up in that sort of like Dick Whittington pouch. He character. loves it so much, he's, he's got a picture of it up on the, <laughs> on the wall. So the polar bear's asleep there. Hmm. One of them's run away. Oh, why? Because I wasn't looking after it. Is that like a message? Mm. It's like left left a note for you. Where's he gone? You gotta go and look for him. Demanding, aren't they? And it's another one's run away. Nice. Oh. oh, he's so cute, Neko in his cat basket with his little lump of grass. And this is the dinosaur, so, baby dinosaur. He's a baby dinosaur. He's called Takage. He's lovely. He misses his mum, who mm. is the Loch Ness monster, and he pretends he's a lizard because so he, he doesn't get any hassle off people. Because you know? with him being a dinosaur, mm. you know people would want to capture him because mm. he's special. I like those fish he's got in the tank. <laughs> yeah, those are good, aren't they? So we'll say goodnight to them now, and tomorrow I think we'll get some food from the supermarket and see if we can cook something for them. Okay, sounds like a good idea, yeah. And before we carry on with this video, we'd just like to let you folks know about a new Facebook group that I've just started. only got five members, but then I have just started it. So it's called Boonie Runes Bitsy. Samiko friend and other virtual pets. So I thought I'd make this Facebook group because there are Facebook groups for people who are into Tamagotchis, but not for some of the other virtual pets, which I actually like more because they've got something unusual about them. So if you would like to join this group, you're welcome to. It's a public group. Just look it up on Facebook and you can join. So I'm with my pets again. And today we're going to get them some food. Okay. So hey, we're going to the supermarket. Did you get them all back? Because a couple... Uh... No, no, I've still got two missing. So today the cat and the polar bear and the dinosaur, the baby dinosaur, uh-huh. they all wanted feeding and they all wanted stroking. Right. But the others, I'll have to get them later. Cause the <laughs> what are those? Are those the pork cutlet and the, the shrimp bit? Yes. And another one? And yes, they, the pe- got... penguin. The green, oh. well, it's not really, it's a penguin with a question mark. It's green. So it's not got... sure what it is. It's they've... got identity crisis. <laughs> so they've gone on, on a walkabout around the island then? Yes. Because you've not been looking after them? Yes. Got fed up. Right, so we're at the supermarket. It's that little prawn thing again. Is that just an animation that plays every time you <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Because the prawn's actually missing with the pork cutlet at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Well, that's where she is. She, I know where she is. She's at, <laughs> she's at the supermarket. <laughs> but I don't know where he is. Right. So the first one here is traps, but we're not doing traps. We're not buying traps buying food so right. select that mm-hmm. so look at all the goodies now i'm so definitely going to get some fish you buy this with the coins that you've that you've won is that right yes yes i've earned them so i've currently got 2260 coins mm-hmm. and you can get some fish for 50 coins buys it's a bargain buys so i believe 
You, you select this. with the yellow. Okay. And then you can can you key in how many you want there as well? I think there's like a little times one. Yeah, circle. you would use that uh, purple select button. You're not but gonna I, get a couple of fish. You think I should get a couple? Yeah, get a couple. Okay, there. Two fish, yeah. So two fish by. You get a little cash register sound. Ching, ching like that, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what it's asking me here. Uh, maybe it says, do you want to buy some more? Because I confirmed and, yeah, we're here again. Okay. So, I've got what some fish. Let's see what else we've Melon. got. Melon. Oh, get some, oh, some nice looking sandwiches, do you think? Yeah, sandwiches always. You can't go wrong with no. sandwiches. No. I'll just get a couple of sandwiches. I'm not sure what they've got in them. No. Cucumber, maybe? Cucumber sandwiches? Yeah. Oh, another ka-ching. Okay, what else are you buying then? Um, what, what's that thing in the middle? That's like a football with a door uh, well, in it. Well, I don't know what it is, so I think I'll leave that. But that's definitely some kind of cake. Meat, it, is it? it? Oh, I thought it was a joint of meat. Is no, it a cake? No, it looks like a cake to me. Okay, get the cake, yeah. Okay. You it call, is, isn't it? It's a cake. The coins are going down, but you've still got 2,000 left. Yeah, it is, it is a cake, yeah. Some dessert. So what else have we got here? Uh, bottle of milk. Bottle of milk, yeah. It'd be good if you shop like this. <laughs> but but we, it is like online shopping, you know, where you do your supermarket <laughs> shop. <laughs> you do it on, online. You can, you can have. Add the number you want to see. Yeah, it is. It is like online <laughs> shopping, isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear. We don't earn the money by playing games, so do we? We don't. Oh, oh you mean in real life? Yeah. Um, is this some of is pork this... pie, is it? Oh, it's a tin of cat food. Tin of cat food. Why would you want that? Oh, because one of these Shimikos is a cat, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Neko. It's actually my favourite. Oh, get, get that cat food for me. Yes, I will. Yeah. You've got loads of money, haven't you? I hope that I can stuff. carry all this. <laughs> get, get that uh, cheeseburger. It's got a bit of tomato and lettuce in it, I think. Yeah. It's making me feel hungry. <laughs> so, do you, do you have to spend all your money? or? No, no. I think maybe you should uh, not get carried away. I'm just going to browse on the next... Oh, the shelves Oh, that better. looks uh, nice. This mm, one here. That's a trifle, is it? Yeah, oh, that's. Oh, I'll get, a, I'll get three of those yeah. so they can have one each. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, I think that's quite enough. Uh, it's like like online deliveries, they're delivered by the bank. Yeah, van. yeah. Where, where are they put? Somewhere in the house? Um, yeah, because they they appear at the top of the room, don't they? Ah, right. So there's like shelves in the room or something. I think we try to make this. What's that thing in the window sense. there? What's that thing in the window? It's the little lump of grass. Oh, that's that a met. cat's friend, isn't the it? Cat's yeah. friend. I guess it's hanging around outside because it's sort of like playing with the other lawn bits. Isn't it? <laughs> Nice, nice. I like the, the round window and the. I've uh, got to stroke him because he's asking to be stroked. Oh, I was thinking about he's thinking about being petted. Oh, uh, so I'll have to pet him before I feed nice. him. <laughs> I like how he puts his head and ears down like that. That's nice. Uh, he doesn't look up when he's had enough. Oh, what's new? What's that mean? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Is that referring to the food you've got? Oh, look! The little lump hey, of grass has yeah, come in. So, so you've looked He's after, having some water. You've looked after the cat, and now the cat's looking after the grass. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to think. Ah, there, there. That's how you get to the food. So this is the food, mm -hmm. the food cupboard. All so right. I think if I click on that, I'll see the oh, things. Let's, that see, I've let's see if the delivery boys put them in the cupboard then. Yes. Ah, so they're there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're quick at delivering. Milk. I've only just got that. Food. I think you need to give. Uh, What's it, Neko? You need to give him some cat food then, don't you? Oh, maybe a fish. I'm yeah, sure give him a like fish. fish. Give him a fish, yeah. Right, okay. So, do, so you, do you ask Neko or, no, or Neko or you just give it to him? Just give it to him. You just learn what they like, right. yeah. Oh, do they dislike some things then? Yeah, but I'm sure Neko likes fish. Come on then, give him, give him the fish. Oh, it's nicely laid out. 
And then I think I've got to use... Is that a bit of a sing there, Kev? <laughs> oh, you see, it could be whistling. Here I comes think. the fish, Neko. Way. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. He does love it. Look yeah. at all the hearts. Yeah, I see rice. Yeah. Great stuff. Give him a trifle for afters. Yeah. Yeah. So. Come out to the food cupboard here. Yeah. I like that trifle. Did I get more than one fish? You oh, I did. Two didn't... fish. And it's three a good trifles. job I did, you know, because I'm thinking uh, mm. the baby dinosaur likes fish. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, oh yeah, give him some trifle. trifle. Bottom shelf. Everybody likes trifle. Ooh, that one's good. It, it looks really good. I wouldn't mind some myself. There it comes, Neko. Fish meal and now a lovely trifle for dessert. Oh, oh he likes that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Neko's been loved and fed. Oh, I think you get rid of that by doing that. What's he doing now? Is he eating grass? He's eating grass. Why is he doing that? Well, it's not his friend. His friend's up at the window. He doesn't eat his friend. But the grass makes cats sick, doesn't it? Yeah, but they do eat it, don't they? Oh. It's like, it's to get fur balls up, I think. Oh, uh, right. Oh, look. He's thinking of food, so we'll awesome enjoy cake. this. What's his name again? This is the, uh, uh, the dinosaur. Tom oh. Tokage. 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 He's lovely, isn't he? He's your favourite. He is, yeah. Give him a cake. Well, give him a fish first. Right, yeah. Dessert after your main meal. Mm. Can you affect the health by feeding him <laughs> the right food or I inappropriate food? Know. Give him a fish then. Okay, Takage, here comes the fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew he liked fish. Mm. I mean, he's got fish in his tank. Yeah. And we'll give him a trifle as well. Yeah, a trifle, yeah. He was thinking of a cake there, wasn't he? I think he was thinking of pancakes, but was I haven't he? got any pancakes. Uh, but I think that's just the, the way they show you that they want something right. to eat. Right, they, they think about cake all the time. <laughs> yeah. Don't we all? They don't, but like us, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, look. He, he's looking up. Is he? He knows it's coming. Oh, yeah. They all like trifle. Everyone likes trifle. How can you not like trifle? So we'll have to wrap this video up there. Obviously, we've only done a little bit mm -hmm. with this Samiko Garashi catch. So I will do some follow-up videos where we'll look at other things that you can do within right, it. Right. It's a very cosy virtual world, isn't it? I was just going to ask you what you thought of it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, you can really get sort of... Um, immersed. You can. That's the word. Immersed in it. Yeah. Mm. But it's all niceness. Mm. Mm. Yeah, very cosy. So, folks, I hope you found that interesting and entertaining to some degree. Thanks for watching, as always, and hope to see you next time.